an empty shell with human graves. That's how the World Health Organization described the state of Al Shifa Hospital, once Gaza's largest and most advanced medical complex. WHO staff managed to get access to the site and found partially buried bodies and the smell of decomposition. They say most of Al Shifa's buildings now lie in ruins and much of its equipment has been reduced to ashes. The team concluded that getting even basic functionality back in the short term seems implausible. This is what used to be the emergency department and uh, as you can see it's totally destroyed. You can see the total destruction everywhere and the most important there is a smell of um, sewage and of the rotten bodies around me. Israeli forces withdrew from Al Shifa hospital in Gaza city on Monday following a two-week military operation targeting what they described as Hamas fighters who had regrouped there. But the Israeli army has been accused of recklessly endangering civilians with this and other devastating attacks on Gaza's health sector, which is already overwhelmed with thousands of injured Palestinians. The health situation is tragic and disastrous in the Gaza Strip, Gaza City and northern Gaza. We call on everyone to support the health sector in all of the Gaza Strip. Six months into the war, only 10 out of the 36 main hospitals in Gaza are still partially operational, according to the WHO. In Rafah, in southern Gaza, where more than 1.5 million displaced people are trapped, Abu Yusuf al Najar Hospital is overwhelmed by patients. Doctors say they lack medicines and fuel due to aid restrictions. The hospital is overcrowded. The doctors are exhausted. Our medical staff and nurses are unable to deal with the cases given the large number of injured people and patients. And after 183 days, none of the doctors or medical staff have an ounce of strength left. Despite growing international pressure on Israel to do more to avoid civilian casualties, it's been continuing to attack Gaza from north to south indiscriminately. The WHO says as famine looms, disease outbreaks spread and trauma injuries increase, Gaza's remaining health facilities must be given immediate protection. Nihat al Abidi, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.